Early this morning, we finished the tunneling and installed the remaining interior piers. All the piers on this project went about 30 feet deep, a steel push pipe driven to a competent layer and transitioning into concrete at the top, with every pier reaching around 10,000 psi of bearing pressure. With the structure fully support, we began lifting and leveling the home. The lowest area was about 2 inches down. As we lift, the brick crack next to the window began to close, and the expansion joint tightened up beautifully. When we reach about minus 0.4 inches, all visible signs of stress have corrected, but the front door starts ticking slightly. That's usually a good indicator that the house was originally built with a very small natural slope, so we lower it just one tenth of an inch. The door starts working again. The windows aligned, and that's the elevation we locked in, stable, balanced, and stress-free. A lot of people ask how lifting a house doesn't crack the concrete. The answer is spacing. These piers are intentionally placed every 5 to 6 feet along the load-bearing beams. That spacing allows the weight of the home to be distributed evenly across all the supports. So when we lift in small increments, the structure rises as one unified slab without overstressing any area. It's controlled, smooth, and safe. Once the lift was completed, we shim every pier, check the final elevations, and start backfilling the pits and tunnels. By 2 p.m., the entire repair was finished and the home restored to a stable condition. Another successful job.